guess this is it, muchacho. Any last words? Yeah! Drown! Pliers come in all varieties, so it's no surprise that anglers waste time thinking about them when they could be improving their fishing strategies. Should you choose the cheap pair? Something fancy? Maybe some hemostats? What about the tried and true? Let's figure out which works best for you. A $10 pair will be aluminum or steel with a comfy grip and no spring. They'll work just fine for cutting thick mono and they can be sharpened with a small file as needed. Your mid-grade pliers are usually aluminum with a built-in spring to aid in one-handed operation. They'll sport a removable side cutter, which is great for both mono and braid. The jaws will also be screwed on, which some people don't like, since you'll have to find an exact replacement once damaged. But I haven't had that problem yet. Most multi-tools have no spring, but they come with more gadgets than you'll ever need on the water. Like jaws with built-in cutters, scissors for braid or mono, and multiple screwdrivers for tearing down a reel. If you're feeling sassy, you can use the measuring device to make sure your catch is legal, a knife to dispatch it, a can opener for that side of beans, and a lanyard ring for easy access. Oh yeah, it also folds, and you can fit it in your pocket. Hemostats, or forceps, are synonymous with fly fishing, and they too lack a spring, but most have locking jaws, which really come in handy. They're great for pinching barbs on small flies, retrieving things that your meaty fingers can't reach, and cutting leader, tippet, or light line, assuming yours have scissors. While it's important to have a reliable pair of pliers, they need to be easily accessible and secure so you don't lose them. I'll talk about how I made this holster in another video, but for now, let me impart a little wisdom. It's no coincidence that the coolest fishing toys don't come cheap, but the best tools are the ones you use well, use often, and don't cost a fortune. This plier shootout was a hoax, and if you want my opinion, the best pair of pliers are probably hiding in your grandpa's garage, your mom's glove box, or your own pocket. But if you're wondering how I use mine, here you go. This is a great affordable tool for unhooking bass and most marine species. So no need for a mid-level set. Just rinse with fresh water after each use and they'll serve you well. If you're into light tackle or fly fishing, Pick up some hemostats with a matte finish. FYI, the locking type are great for extra leverage and tying quick knots. I'll only recommend a multi-tool if you already own one, but I'd only use it for bass fishing since they're a bit clunky and slow. That's it. And a special thank you to the actors in this video. Yeah, yeah. draw.